All right, guys, it's come to the end of an era. Unfortunately, it doesn't look too shabby still. Our Kogan 4K QLED 50 inch television has had one of those aneurysms, you know the type, where that power core connection, and you know how the televisions go into standby mode, and then you take them out of standby mode, it refuses to go out of standby mode. There's like a little fuse or something, something really basic that for e-waste purposes could probably be easily fixed, but it just costs too much to repair, out of warranty of course. A real shame because it I had this really well calibrated, this monitor, and that's partially why I haven't made any videos in recent. But finally, what we got here is the replacement. It's an upgrade, but a downgrade. Downgrade because it's smaller in size, which I really love the real estate, so it's 43 inches. But upgrade because it's got a couple of features which the previous 4K monitor by Kogan, this one's obviously by AOC, has got available to it. So it's, um, they like to call it a gaming monitor. And it's your 9 series, 43 inch gaming monitor. Model code for the model code lovers is G4309BX1. And yeah, it's 43 inches gaming. We're going to unbox her essentially. Just to run down on some of the features which are on the box here. Adaptive sync, so as just like your three sync slash G sync without the uh, price tag attached. Ultra HD. Display HDR 1000, which is I believe still the highest ranking Visa certified. It's got a picture in picture mode. HDMI, it's got two display port ins and two HDMI ins. And it's the HDMI ultra speed, uh, and we'll get more into that in a second, at 144 hertz, if overclocked, otherwise standard at the 120 hertz. It's only a 43 inch monitor. I am used to 50 inches. It's gonna have to fill a gap now, essentially. So it's a nice sunny day now, currently in Melbourne, Australia. But we're going to uh, pretty much unpack this and I apologize for the armor getting ahead of us as we get into discussing the monitor, which probably next time you see in the snap of the fingers shall be lit up in front of me. Okay, so as we walk into the Technus corner, don't mind there's shit everywhere, frankly. Before we get to the piece of resistance, as you can see, that's next to a 50 inch there. So we used to have a dual 50 inch for working purposes and gaming purposes. Now we've got 43 inch so that's the difference between a 50 inch guys and a 43 inch but before we have a closer look at our renaissance of the technus corner we have to get go through what's in the box now in the box there's a bit of mounting required in relation to the aoc monitor we've got over here which was just the frame pretty much clicks in screw in quite easily and sturdily it's got a a uh, very user-friendly thumb screw to screw it in. Uh, unfortunately, you have to be very careful with it because obviously the angle to screw it in is upside down and that's not ideal in relation to any type of screwing upside down. But what else was in the box? We got um, the warranty. Warranty brochure. Also the inside that. Um, obviously the power cord. Quite a pliable power cord feels like it got it got some special juju from wherever the makers made it from so that's good um overly short um probably should be about half a meter longer frankly always needs to be it's a general power cord that you would find in your bear with me one second bear with me as i open that up it's a general power cord that you would find inside one of your computers per se now, warranty brochure, energy rating, 500 off the charts. There's ways to uh, minimize that, uh, lower the brightness and the contrast. As a monitor of its caliber, it should be able to still be quite bright with the brightness and contrast diminished um, and not affect much of the viewing pleasure. Now, the funny part is, the reason why I'm going so far into the manual is because I thought there might be some more information. 
manual. All right. Manual, operation manual. English. English. And then, it's a Bible of every other language under the sun. That's the manual for you guys. The warranty brochure, the quick start guide is your key here, which has some vital information in relation to screwing it in. There's a tilt mechanism that's five degrees front, 10 degrees back for tilting purposes. Apart from that, it explains the different ports which you have on it. As mentioned, you got your two HDMI, two display ports, headphone jack in, on the left back side is your to the AC outlet. Uh, on your right side, you got three high speed and high uh, amp amplitude uh, USB ports as well. And that's about the gist of it, apart from the menu system, which again, the manual could have helped out with. Um, doesn't really tell you much, but then you also get a quite a sturdy display port cable. Um, I've got a few available which I have a need to use this. And also, what is more so required, two of them would have been nice, and a longer one would have been nice. But your HDMI cable. Now, more specifically, if you guys can see, it's your ultra high speed HDMI certified cable. Okay. And that's really needed for 4K at 144 hertz. So, cutting a long story short, if we maneuver this back over here, we might be able to get a better view at it. We've got it on an angle here now. It's about a, I'd probably say a 90 degree angle relative. We've got a fair amount of light in here. I'm going to drop that ever so slightly. And you guys get a better view at what we're essentially looking at. So we've got J2Sense video happening right now. I believe we've got the luxury of putting that in 4K. Now, what I am off the bat missing is that slight, slight from a 50 inch to a 43 inch is the slight bit of real estate space, which I was mentioning, because I'm used to opening up a couple of um, couple of windows. It's not much, it's just on the eyes. I do have those older people's eyes with really thick frame glasses. And yeah. Seven available, including the H7 Flow. Follow the link in the description below. Okay, uh, I really need you to do me a favor and try and follow along. You might even have to watch this more than once and definitely check out Steve. So just watching a video here with Jace to Sense active and essentially here's like two windows YouTube in full. I've got a couple uh, videos loaded up today. Um, I've got a spare monitor on to the side here that you guys can see if it tickles your fancy. That's just a 24 inch, I believe, in a portrait mode. So it almost catches the top. If the, if the, a probably 27 inch fill in that gap would be ideal. So apart from what we have here, we've got a Jace 2 Sense video playing in the background. I've got a uh, seriously more bad news for NVIDIA's 40 series. AMD Adrenaline 22.9.1 drivers more and less performance at the same time. That's by Ancient Gameplays. And we got an EPOS Vox stream that we got loaded up ready to watch to uh, break in this monitor ever so slightly. But the piece of the resistance is, I did have it through a display port originally onto a HDMI adapter, and that only got it into 60 hertz. But we go into display settings here, you'll see you can use HDR, and it looks like it can be activated without any problems. And then also you get a remote. You can't really see the remote, but you get a remote that can handle all the features, including turning it on and off. It's got a sensor for signal on as well, but the piece to the resistance is 
and the only upside to this as opposed to honestly the Kogan Q LED panel um, one the upside was cost it did cost about $400 more it's about a thousand Australian dollars this monitor but is currently I've only got it in a hundred Hertz refresh rate because the more Hertz you use as well the higher the Hertz the refresh rate essentially the more power and juice is going to the monitor as well but it can standard go into 120 okay and then if i close that what i'll show you guys is if you go into settings if i know my stuff so you go use i'm using the uh the remote right now and then you go into osd setup you can specifically for each hdmi port go into 120 hertz and overclock that to 144 hertz okay you can subsequently adjust that in the settings in windows itself as well on an operating system so we'll do that now and we'll see what happens hopefully it doesn't bug anything out just because i have not officially done this yet it may need a restart i'm um, also hopefully i've got the right type of cable even though i should we'll see if that activates hmm interesting eh so we'll close that that's weird that it's done that in relation to the monitor itself i think it's reset the monitor so if we go into display settings and now go into 300 percent was on so it's reset the monitor so we're going to have to recalibrate and if we go into advanced display setting, it's still on 100 hertz, but now we've, as you can see, got 144 hertz available also. Okay, so that's how you do that. I've got, I'm gonna leave it on 100 hertz 4K for me for gaming for a time being for the graphics card I've got is ample. Um, on some of those esports games and that, which I like to play in 4K as well, with, for example, variable refresh rate and I think it's RSR, not FSR, but RSR on um, the AMD front. It essentially lets, lets me play at like Apex Legends at like 200 frames a second in, uh, in 4K per se. But if we just put on, say, for example, this as a guide here as well. So you can see now, unfortunately, there are some problemos I find with this monitor. Reflection wise, you can see the lights in the back. It's not as bad as others. Okay, it's not completely, it's not anti glare and it's not completely reflective. But what I find is that you can't really tell here because there's crapola there if we darken the sea. But there is a bit of blooming, more, more blooming than I'm used to. I should be able to adjust that hopefully across my fingers. Hopefully I can adjust that. But yeah, uh, apart from that, the refresh rate is massive. It means that, you know, it's not going to be choppy. 30 hertz, 60 hertz on a 4K panel, regardless of the 4K ability. If you even put into 1080p, you don't have that 144 hertz. I can play 1440, 1080, 144 hertz. hertz. That should be minimum in this day and age, but the piece of resistance is the 4K luxury at 144 hertz and uh adaptive sync slash free sync g-sync uh compatible so yeah guys uh this has been my slight overview bit of a demo and review of this aoc 43 inch gaming monitor from the nine series exact model number in the description below and yeah hope you got something out of it peace out guys from the second quarter bye